Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this gorgeous wig that I received from Braids Queen. This is so gorgeous and I can't wait to share this with you guys. As you guys know, I had been rocking box braids for about four or five months now. So I was super excited when they reached out to me to try out this hair. Um, just because this is a convenient way to alternate between my natural hair and actually still maintaining those braids because girl I'd be having a hard time parting ways with my braids because sometimes they will look nice at the bottom But they look a really ratchet at the root So this is gonna allow me to have the best of both worlds if you guys are interested in details on this wig and seeing me apply it Just keep on watching Come on So starting off, you're going to receive your wig with a little tag attached. It does have the item number and the color, which is a 1B30T. And that tag, you obviously can't see it, but because it's too bright, but that's exactly what the tag says. So the braids are really long. I really love them. They are a really nice, like brownish burgundy color. And it is this color throughout the entire wig, which is really nice. It does come with a little top knot, and it had a little net on it before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. Comes with plenty of baby hairs. You are gonna have to cut those depending on how long you like them, but personally, I felt like they needed to just be trimmed a little bit, but I like the option that, you know, they're there. They're there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tag and then I'm just gonna show you guys the inside It does come with some adjustable straps some clips inside to help out, you know With keeping it in its place and then you know, I love me an adjustable strap So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the clip in the back There's a little bit of glitter in it because I did have it on my glitter wig head. So that's my fault I went ahead and put a wig cap on prior and just glued that down. I could have done a better job but my hair it's just because I took my hair out of braids, so right my right now my hair just felt like really, really, really poofy. So I needed to probably smash it down a little bit more. But I think it looks really, really good as far as like the tone of the lace goes. Now, if you're a little bit lighter than me, you probably will want to put like some powder or something to kind of like blend in the color. Just because you can see it's like a little bit darker than me. But it's something crazy. Nothing you can't fix with a little bit of pressed powder or something. Or if you wanted to tint the lace prior, you're welcome to do that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some gel. I have not put on a wig in months. Like I've literally had my hair in box braids for like five to six months. So your girl is a little rusty with the application of the wig, so bear with me. You already know, the sideburns be my main issue because I'm so thick in the sideburns, so it's so hard for the wigs to stick there. But I try my best, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me apply this wig, and I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and use my little wrap from Glee Made. I'll go ahead and leave my link and discount code that I have for them down in the description box below. This is a brand created by one of my girls, Jess the Dragoness. So if you guys are interested, she has some cute stuff on her website. And I like to use this to, you know, hold my edges down until I'm ready to go. Go ahead and take some pictures of myself. And after I have it on for about, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, I go ahead and I remove it. And I'm all finished up. Yes, I'm absolutely loving these braids. They look so good. This is definitely going to be a go-to fall look as well, just because of the tone of the hair. Oh, I'm in love with it. I absolutely love it. The braids are so, so uniform. 
so cute. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment box below. You can also curl those ends if you want to, dip them in some hot water, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm absolutely in love with it. I do feel like I can definitely do some work around the perimeter of the hairline to try to make it look a lot nicer. Right now, it looks really decent. Definitely can go out looking like this. This is a look. I love it. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more work right here on the side burn area just because my side burns come down a little bit further than, than what this is coming down. Or I could also just play with it a little bit more. But I'm super happy with it and definitely will be wearing this again. It's so cute and I'm just loving everything about it. I'm, I was actually surprised that I ended up really liking the color. I'm usually one that likes these red tones, but I've been rocking lately like darker tones and I've really been loving them. But this looks so freaking fly, especially with my makeup. It really goes well. I'm loving the top knot, super cute, loving the detail in the braids, like how precise the braids are. Everything about it is so pretty, the texture is nice, and I think after I have it for a while and I start to feel like, you know, the ends are getting a little worn, I'm definitely going to go ahead and curl these, but for right now I'm going to rock them straight. I usually um, like to rock it straight, so I am, I'm not mad at the fact that, you know, they're straight, because I usually like it like that. <laughs> so I like that I can have the alternative to like or the option to go ahead and curl them like once they start getting a little ratty I personally wouldn't sleep with this if I was you sleep with this on if I were you just because you want the braids to last as long as possible and not wearing it at night is going to help with the longevity so if you can avoid sleeping with it avoid sleeping with it yeah, that's all I really have to say. I really want to say thank you, Braid Queens, for sending me this wig. This wig is so pretty, and I can't wait to try more of your guys' wigs just because I'm really excited about the different patterns, colors, and all of that good stuff. If you guys are interested in hearing more or seeing more of what they have to offer, I definitely recommend you guys checking out the links down in the, be down in the comment box below or the description box below. I apologize. I always say that. Go ahead and check out the links that I provided for you guys to contact them and see what they have. I'll have their IG on there, their website, and all of that good stuff. So if you guys are looking to see more, I'm going to go ahead and take off before I continue rambling about how much more I'm in love with this. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you guys um, head over to Instagram at I am Sasha Fears 411 and I'm going to have some pictures rocking this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who might find it useful. And I will see all of you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.